What's going on, people? This is Wanzo coming back to you with another video, guys. Um, <clears throat> over um, over the weekend, I came out with a video um, of uh, a couple of a couple of pictures, still pictures, of um, an F three, um, in you know working and pumping out fifteen hundred mega hashes, and um, you have these. Uh, you know, you have people running around saying fake, and you have people running around saying, um, you know, fork, and you have people running around saying, you know, just fucking all kinds of shit. And um, I don't know if this is fake or not, okay? Um, it looked pretty real to me. And then after the fact, the, I made the video, somebody had sent me um, a link to the actual video, and it looked pretty real to me, okay? Um, I don't know if they might end up pulling a fucking uh, David Copperfield on me or some shit, but like I said, it looked pretty real. So just for the just for the sake of argument, let's just say that it's real, okay? And um, <clears throat> it's 1,500, you know, plus a little bit more mega hashes. And 500 mega hash per board is reasonable. It's not like that's out of the ordinary. Okay? If if ASIC chips for Ethereum for the ETH, ETH hash algorithm have been developed, then 500 um 500 uh, uh mega hashes, excuse me, I'm sorry. 500 mega hashes per board is most definitely reasonable. Okay? So for the sake of uh doing this video let's just I, I i pulled out every single uh et hash or eth hash um out coin out there except for krypton which has gone proof of uh stake shift has gone proof of stake and soil coin seems to be having some sort of lagging issues okay so i'm gonna end up just doing these top five here these two and ubic all right. <clears throat> now I already put in the numbers because I just want—I don't want to spend here half an hour talking about this. Um, I put every single coin in here. Okay, I put in all the numbers, the 1500 mega hashes. I put in 800. You know, I just put in 800 watts of power, just to kind of be an intermediary number. And I also put the price of the unit on the higher side, which I don't think it's going to be, but I just put it there anyways, just. You know, for the sake of, of doing this, you know, um, air, like I said, I'm doing air finger quotes again, you know, this test. So let's go to Elysium or however you want to pronounce that. If I pronounce that right, um, I put in 1500 mega hashes, 800 power, my costs here, pool fees, and I put hardware costs of 3%. Calculate, and you're looking at 99 days to break even. Okay. You're looking at, um, you know, over $30 a day in profit, $3.07 in electricity, and your pool fees per day are right here. Now, all of these coins, except for Ethereum and Ethereum Classic, have a very low net hash, okay? I think Ethereum and Ethereum Classics are the only ones that are into the Terra hash, territory everything else is low giga hash okay so i'm gonna point that out with each one um that's pretty good okay i like that number that looks pretty good okay now let's go to ethereum classic okay same thing i got the same numbers here 1500 mega hash 800 watts you know my cost the pool fees and the hardware cost of three thousand dollars calculate and we're looking at 77 days to break even, okay? You're looking at $39 profit per day. Uh, and like I said, these numbers here ain't going to really change, okay? The pool fees will change, though, okay? And those are your pool fees right there. That electricity cost is going to be the same either way. It doesn't matter. But I'll still run over it. And uh, here's the terahash. They're looking at just, uh, just a hair under 10 terahash, okay, as a net hash rate. Now, let's go to Ethereum, okay? I did the same thing here, all the same numbers. Let's calculate. 
73, well, 74 days to break even. You're looking at $41, a little under $41 profit per day. And there's your electricity and there's your pool fees per day. This is the only one that's this high, okay? 225 terahash as net hash, you know, net hash total. Um, <clears throat> and everything else is very low. Now, metaverse, same numbers, same power, same cost, same pool fees, same hardware costs, calculate. Looking at 95, 96 days to break even. Looking at $31, $31 profit, electricity, and your pool fees right here, okay? You know, these numbers are all pretty good. I mean, this, you know, if, if this, if this ASIC, you know, is, is real, it's true, it's not like fake, like people are screaming everywhere on Reddit, you know, fucking comments all over the place, everybody's screaming fake, uh, Twitter. If this is real, this is going to be a really profitable miner. Okay, not just to use on Ethereum, because you don't you don't have to use it on the Ethereum network or Ethereum Classic. You can use it on one of these more obscure coins, and you're gonna still have some good results either way. Okay, except for these last three. These last three, um, well, mainly the last two have gone proof of stake, but I'm gonna get there. Okay, so um, so Metaverse, yeah, I did the numbers here. Um, everything's the same. I don't know if I calculated. Okay, calculate here. We're looking at 96 days. I think I did do it. There's your profit right there. Okay. Now, let's go to expense. Okay, the same numbers, same power, same cost, same pool fee, same hardware. Okay. Looking at 85 days to break even on the miner, on a $3,000 miner. Okay. And um, this is your profit per day, your electricity, and your pool fees okay and it's a the you know the the net hash is very low okay the network hash rate is only is only at 370 giga hashes that's really good okay so <clears throat> let's go to music coin okay again same numbers same hash rate same power same cost same pool fees same hardware costs calculate and we're looking at 78 days to break even this is a really popular coin with gpu miners they love this fucking coin okay um you know and and i can see why i can see why because it's profitable you know i mean all of these hash rates all of these coins are profitable okay so i can see why they love this coin and why people suddenly shit in their pants you know screaming fork um so you're looking at 38 dollars profit your electricity right there, and your daily pool fees, okay? Now let's go over, um, let me see, Pearl, P-I-R-L, Pearl, okay? There's the hash rate, the power, the costs, the pool fees, the hardware costs, calculate 79 days, okay, to break even. Yo, what the fuck? Wesley Snipes has become a cryptocurrency entrepreneur <laughs> fucking Wesley Snipes oh Jesus that fucking guy uh, anyway so uh, 79 days to break even you're looking at $38 profit electricity and your pool fees okay and last but not least Ubic actually that's not the last one Ubic I get the same hash rate the same power the same cost pool fees hardware costs calculate and we're looking at 87 days to break even, okay? Um, 34 and a half profit per day, electricity, and your pool fees, okay? And I uh, just, I, I kind of didn't touch on these, but again, you know, the network hash rate's pretty low, okay? And on Pearl, let me just show that one here. Okay, that one's also over one tera hash. Music coin, 600 giga hash, okay? And expanse just in case I didn't touch it, um, 370 giga hash. Okay. Now Ubic. Um, <clears throat> did I just do Ubic? Fucking a. I don't even know if I did. Anyway, let's just do it over the same numbers. Calculate. 87 days. Yeah, I did do this. One. Okay. So 337, 30, and 34, 50. Excuse me. 
I'm just trying to speed this through, guys. I don't want to sit here forever doing this. Uh, and last but not least, soil coin. I mean, it says that it's inactive lagging. I don't know. I went to Cryptopia, and the coin is there. Okay, um, it's got fucking barely any volume. All right, so this one, I don't know how you know how safe this coin would be to mine, but you know, I put you know I put in the same numbers here, and I calculated, and this is probably the worst one. Okay, 161 days to break even. And uh, even at that, it's not bad. Okay, you're still making eighteen and a half dollars profit per day, uh, three dollars and seven cents in electricity, and fifty-one. You know, there's your pool fees right there. Okay. And uh, Krypton, like I said, they phased over. They've gone proof of stake. Okay, so I'm xing, I'm xing that out. Shift has phased over as well. They've gone proof of stake as well. I went on their website to confirm. And um, and that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, <clears throat> you know, this is a really profitable miner, okay, when it comes out. I don't know what kind of price tag it's going to have, all right? I don't know if it's going to fucking be stupid how they fucking did with the other ones and immediately dropped the freaking, you know, dropped the price. Um, so, but I just put a round number of three grand, okay? I mean, I don't know if it's... You know, six thousand. Let's just check that. Now you're looking at two hundred days to break even, okay? Or their famous twelve thousand. Bunch of idiots. Four hundred days to break even. You know, it's just fucking stupid. But um. But yeah, you know, I put a round number. So I mean, who knows how much it's gonna be? All right. I'm just doing you know three thousand as a round number, um, and I'm doing the power costs at about eight hundred ish. Okay, I don't know exactly what it's going to be, you know, but I put 800 as kind of like a mid-grade, you know, number in there. Uh, it could be a little more, could be a little less, I don't know. Um, but for the most part, um, if the F3 does come out, and if it is priced appropriately, um, and, uh, you know, Ethereum doesn't suddenly decide that they're going to fork, um, then, you know, I would most likely be grabbing you know, one or two or something like that. I'm not really sure, but, you know, like I said, that all depends on the price of the miner and what happens with Ethereum because they're supposed to be going proof of stake, but even though they go proof of stake, you have all these other coins, okay? You have all these other coins that 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 you can mine, all right? Even though if, if Ethereum does go proof of stake, so it's not like the miner's going to go to waste unless every single one of these coins decides to fork okay and i don't know what's with this forking shit all of a sudden because i mean in my personal opinion that's bad for that's bad for crypto because you're just fucking everybody you know you're screwing everybody over you're screwing companies over you're screwing the people over i mean and that's what i was trying to say earlier in one of my other videos we're all in this shit together okay we're all in this to make money everybody's talking about centralization and centralization and centralization i mean what's more centralized than 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 forking a whole you know than forking somebody off i mean i don't know i mean you tell me i have no idea but um anyways i just wanted to go over this and uh you know see what these hypothetical numbers would be like and they look pretty good Will you guys tell me what you think down below have a good afternoon. Peace.